Have you ever tried balancing a handstand and this happened to you? Welcome back to the channel my friends. Today I am super excited because I will teach you guys my favorite move, my favorite skill that actually got me into calisthenics but also eventually changed my perspective on fitness. What? Yeah. So I challenge you guys to take 10 to 20 minutes daily to do what you learned from this video. Because handstands is all about consistency. It's about visiting the move on a regular basis to build up the awareness, the confidence and the neurological pathways. So start today. Comment down below your starting point and revisit when you have made your progress. And I promise that I will be answering, giving help, feedback as much as possible because ah, I really want you guys to experience this feeling because it's amazing. I love this skill so much. And by doing this, my words will be given justice. So no more thinking, more doing. Let's get upside down. Oh. <laughs> After that big. <laughs> After that <some geeky. laughs> Drop Nick's shirt. Things just got serious. You want to get into position with a 90 degree angle. Stacking your hips right over your shoulders. Just like this. Straight arms, straight legs, and looking down to the ground. Holding this position for 5 to 30 seconds is slowly going to build up the strength, the awareness, and get used to being upside down. So this is the first step. From here, the next thing, the next progression, is to basically straighten out the angle to get into a perfect line far away from the holding everything tight, tightening the glutes, the core, parting the toes, holding your arms together. From here, if this is easy, the next thing you want to do is to come as close to the wall as possible to basically touch your belly button to the wall. And this is going to teach your body to have the perfect line, which is essential for learning to balance a handstand. You want to be able to stack your whole body in a perfect line. Very important pro tip guys, never ever train the handstand without using a wall. The wall is your best friend in this circumstance as a beginner because it will teach you most importantly to have the perfect line, to learn the handstand right straight from the beginning without wasting time, energy and getting frustrated because you don't see any progress. Secondly, it's your best friend because it will hold you from falling over, getting injured and hurting yourself. So don't waste time. I did the mistake when I was learning the handstand. I was doing it freestanding without knowing even the basics and I wasted so much time because I couldn't see any progress. Eventually got frustrated and I almost broke some tables here and there because I was falling around just like a... Can't find an example, but you got the idea, right? Next step is the kick up. Super important. Let's get this. First things first, hand placement. The hand, you want to be placing it a palm away from the wall. That way you prevent from going into a banana shape. We get it into a position just like a sprinter, okay? One straight leg and one bent leg. The bent leg are going to be pushing off the ground while the straight leg is going to be swinging. Now, many people are afraid of doing it. So that's why the best way it's, is to do it progressively. To so kick off more and more and come higher and higher slowly. So take your own time, do it in your own comfort zone. Here, we kick up, connect the legs, straight legs down. Straight legs down. Straight legs down. Mistake I see people do is that they kick off with the back leg bent. Now, you can create the same force by kicking like this. So that's why you want to keep your legs straight to create the most possible force that will eventually lead you all the way up into a handstand. Okay, so it's very important that you connect your legs as soon as possible. As soon as your legs leave the ground, you want them to come right next to each other and straighten them out. Don't get into an upside down seizure, just having your legs swing around, bend it far away, all that stuff, okay? So keep those things in mind and you are so close, my friend. Can't wait, can't wait to see you guys achieve this and more people handstanding over all over the world. 
amazing, amazing. I love my job, I love what I do. So after understanding and learning all the stuff that you have seen until now in the video, you will come to the most important part when it comes to balancing your handstands. After learning to have straight legs connected, ballerina pointing toes, straight core, glutes and elevated shoulders, straight arms all the way, everything will click in your mind and you will start understanding that balancing a handstand is all about the battle of pushing through your wrists and releasing them. In your handstand, you want to be pushing the ground with your hands, just like that. Pushing just when you're about to flip over. You want to be pushing as hard as you can. And the way to get better at this, we are going into the next progression, which is the handstand scissor swifts. It sounds like a superpower. It can eventually become one. So we kick up into our handstand. My dog just came and visited. From here, you want to be pointing your toes and taking one feet off the wall and switching. Try to do this as controlled and slow as possible. You will feel that whenever you are off the wall, you have to push through with your wrists. And that's what you want to be focusing on. The better you become at this, the closer you are to actually balancing the handstand. And slowly, you can connect, come back. Connect, come back. Woo. So final step, but just as important, the dismount. You want to be able to save yourself if you ever overbalance your handstand without having a wall and that will eventually help you lose the fear of falling and being able to kick up into a handstand. So let me show you guys the freestanding version of a dismount. If this is a handstand, I lose one hand and I search uh, with my legs down to the ground. That's the freestanding version. The more controlled version is at the wall. So let's check that out. So I go into the perfect line handstand just like we learned earlier and from here I want to be again taking one hand off and one leg down to the ground. Let me show it one more time. I go in straight legs one hand off and searching down with the kicking leg that you are used to kick off from the ground into the handstand. A bulletproof method of learning to save yourself from falling over and eventually being able to freestand handstand wherever the hell you want. So I have been at the handstand game for about 10 years now. So I have learned basic strength moves that will hack your way to the handstand. So implementing everything you learned right now with the exercises that will strengthen your wrist and your shoulders, you will get the handstand in no time, baby. Now, like I said, the handstand is all about the push through your wrist movement. So that's why the stronger you are here, the better you will be able to balance your handstand and the faster you will be. So this exercise is essential both for warming up and keeping you away from injuries, but also to strengthen your wrist to be able to hold the handstand much, much easier and much, much faster. So it's basically straight arms, find a wall and push through your wrists, just like that. The more straight you are, the easier it is. So you can progressively get lean more and more into this exercise to slowly build up the strength to be able to do this. Next exercise is all about the shoulders. It's the second part that are all about handstanding. So you want to get into a handstand with the belly facing the wall. And from here, you go into a handstand. I don't care where, how far away you are, but keep your arms straight and lean forward. As much as possible to have control. So you get out and push yourself back in. Have, keeping in mind that it's the shoulders that control this movement. By doing this exercise, you bulletproof your shoulders, but also making sure that whatever position you will come into, you will be able to re the regain the alignment of the handstand and learn it much faster. We, I really wish that somebody taught me all these things straight away from the beginning, because I would learn the handstand so much better, so much right from the beginning. So guys, like I said, comment down below your starting point, your first day, come back to it, 
with your progression and I will help you all the way because I really want you guys to be upside down, man. It's the best feeling in the world.